Our nation's finest and bravest now back home returning from the honor flight. We first brought you the live homecoming on ABC 22 News at 11 last night. The only station happy to help welcome them back. Two hundred active duty Air Force troops leading the way for the main event. We're very happy to welcome our World War II Korean and Vietnam veterans. Our nation's finest and bravest returning on the honor flight. When you think about what these, those people did for us and when it, when it comes to the moment where they come down that aisle, I think emotion is something that's shared by me and by everyone here. The first return flight of 2015 had 91 veterans on board. They spent time in our nation's capital, visiting the very memorials honoring their service. It was also a chance for these survivors to pay respects to their brothers in arms who never made it home. And I think any veteran that has a chance should do it because it's a wonderful experience. And it's great to be appreciated. I was in World War II. Jim Vernier encouraged his friend Floyd Williams to go. I'm happy to be here because I fought two wars in the infantry. I've been to Pyongyang. Dennis Rodman ain't the only one that's been to Pyongyang. The patriotic homecoming at Dayton International. Unexpected and wonderful. It is overwhelming. I just. Didn't expect that. I don't think how you can live another day in this life without showing some appreciation for those veterans. To learn more about Honor Flight Dayton and how to get involved, head to our website, fox45now.com. Click on news links in the hot topics bar. And by the, by the way, if you want to go, the next one is May 2nd, a Saturday night.